All right, so we've had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs converting grams to moles and moles to grams, right? You can either convert grams to moles, moles to grams, you can use it for percent composition, you can use it for doing empirical formulas, molecular formulas, whatever you need. There's a lot of applications for converting grams to moles by dividing by formula mass or moles to grams by multiplying by formula mass. But you know, you can convert moles to so much more than just grams. I mean, grams is just the start of it. Now, as we saw in the phases of matter unit, one mole of gas occupies 22.4 liters of volume at standard temperature and pressure. So you can also find out how many moles of gas you have if you know the volume. For example, if I had 11.2 liters, that would be half as much, well, that would be half a mole. If I had 44.8 liters, twice as much, well, I'd have two moles. So each mole is 22.4 liters at STP of a gas. So I can convert liters of gas to STP, to moles, and I can convert moles of gas to liters of gas at STP. The other thing you can convert to moles is the number of molecules you happen to have. How many molecules are there in a mole? Well, how many of anything are there in a mole? Now, I write number of particles here because this can apply to molecules. If you're talking about covalent bonds, you know, nonmetal to nonmetal. Formula units, if what you're talking about is an ionic compound, or if you're talking about an element, atoms. So, number of particles can mean any of those things. We can convert how many molecules, formula units, or atoms we have to moles, or moles back to any of those. Now, as we saw with grams, if you want to convert two moles, you must divide. And if you want to convert from moles, you must multiply. See, if you have moles, you multiply. The question is, what do we multiply or divide by? Well, liters, 22.4 liters per mole. This way, when we divide, the liters will cancel. And when we multiply, the moles will cancel. For number of particles, you know how many things there are in a mole. Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles per mole. I'm abbreviating particles as P, just for the sake of taking up less room. So if you want to convert anything to moles or moles to anything, you just have to use what we call the mole map. Not only that, but this will allow you to convert grams to liters, or liters to number of particles, or number of particles to grams, or number of particles to liters, going through moles. Moles is the grand central station of stoichiometry. You want to get from one to the other, you got to go through moles. There is no conversion factor to go from grams to liters directly. You have to go through moles to get the job done. So if you've got grams and you want liters, Divide your grams by formula mass, that'll give you moles. Then multiply your moles by 22.4, and that'll give you how many liters it's going to take. To convert from any unit to any other, convert to moles first. So how many moles are in 44.8 liters of H2 gas at STP? What this tells us is that we're allowed to use 22.4. So we take 44.8 liters divided by 22.4 liters per mole. So that liters cancel. Convert two moles, divide by your conversion factor. This gives us 2.00 moles. How many liters will 4.0 moles of O2 gas occupy at STP? If you're starting with moles, you multiply by your conversion factor. Since we're doing liters, we use 22.4 liters per mole. This way moles will cancel, and 4 times 22.4 is 89.6. And because moles cancel, that leaves us with liters. But wait, we're not done yet. Two significant figures, three significant figures, I got to round that off to two significant figures, 90 decimal point liters. Final answer.
Next example, how many molecules of H2O are there in 8.0 grams of water? So we start with 8.0 grams of water. First step, convert it to moles. Converting to moles, divide by formula mass. Now let's see, H is 1.0 times 2 because there's two of them. Oxygen is 16.0, that's 18.0 grams per mole. So grams will cancel. How many moles will that be? Now the answer my calculator gives me is point four 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 by the number of molecules in a mole. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per mole. This way moles cancel. Say bye bye. And then we just multiply it out. 0.44 times 6.02 EE23. And that gives us 2.6488 times 10 to the 23rd. I'm going to take that down to, let's see, 2 sig figs, 3 sig figs, 2 sig figs, 2.6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And that's how you use the mole map to solve problems. If you want to go to something that's not moles and you're not starting with moles, you have to convert two moles first by dividing by the conversion factor. Then once you have moles, you multiply by the other conversion factor, and that'll give you the unit you're looking to solve for. That's the mole map.